I used to think that you could only be in a calorie deficit for eight or even 12 weeks at a time, but I was wrong. The fact of the matter is you can lose weight for as long as it takes, which by the way, if you've never seen my videos before or you've never successfully lost weight yourself, it's probably gonna take you a little bit longer than you want it to. Most people don't adjust for vacations and slip ups and just the general learning curve it requires to learn a new skill that is weight loss. On top of that, the harsh truth is that most of us just have more body fat to lose than we probably think. Last year when I was losing 50 pounds, there was a point where I thought, oh my God, if I lose 10 more pounds, I will be completely shredded. I'm gonna be so lean. And then I lost 25 more pounds. So here are two important lessons I've learned about big weight loss goals after coaching guys for the last eight years and doing it myself. Oh, and if we've never met before, my name is Mateo. I've lost 50 pounds now twice in my life and I spent the last eight years helping guys lose fat and get in shape using a simplified approach to nutrition and training. Firstly, imagine right now you started carrying around a weighted vest that was 30 pounds and you carried it around for every second of every day. Kind of like being pregnant. You burn a lot more calories than you currently are, right? The same thing happens in reverse when you lose weight. You just carrying around less body weight every day means you burn way fewer calories. On top of that, there's an unavoidable speed bump that comes along with fat loss dieting, which is this, metabolic adaptation. It's an evolutionary mechanism designed to protect you. When you start feeding your body fewer calories consistently, it starts burning fewer calories consistently. Maybe you're not as warm throughout the day or you don't fidget or feel as active. So if you get to a point 8, 10, 12, or 16 weeks into your fat loss diet and you notice that the scale weight is just starting to not respond the way it used to, it might be time for you to make an adjustment to either your calorie goal or your daily activity goal so you can keep your weight loss going. Or you can just accept a slower rate of weight loss because at your new lower weight, it's still gonna be a pretty solid percentage of your total overall body weight. Or you have a third option, which brings me to lesson number two. It took me about a year to lose 50 pounds and I could have done it way faster, but it would have sucked way more. The reason for that is I took diet breaks along the way, meaning I broke up my fat loss diets with interspersed periods of maintenance dieting where I held my body weight steady. After dieting for eight, 10, 12 weeks, I'd start to get pretty hungry and just kind of psychologically burnt out on the whole weight loss process. So what I'd do is take a little break by bumping my food up and eating at a maintenance level. Sometimes it was a week and sometimes it was a month. But at the end of that little diet break, I was ready to get back into fat loss dieting and start pushing for some more progress. It's like how drivers take pit stops in Formula One. Get some more air in the tires, get some more fuel in the tank, and you can get back on the track and keep racing. I think a lot of the folks who take diet breaks are so successful because they see weight loss as a long-term game. You can't smash and grab 70 pounds of fat off your body in four weeks. And if you're a person who's over, let's say 250 pounds, you know that there's a lot of fat that you'd probably like to lose. If you're not sure how much weight you wanna lose or how fast you wanna go, just download my free weight loss calculator using the link in the description box. It'll give you specific calorie goals and a six month timeline for which specific weight milestones you should aim to hit by when. The bottom line is this, if you have a big weight loss goal, it's just gonna take the time it's gonna take. Don't freak out if you have to make some adjustments along the way or take some pit stops so you arrive in one piece. Just stay consistent with it, losing one pound at a time. As long as you don't give up, you will eventually reach your goal. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. Peace.